And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another Jace adventure. We are now on to Zed. We're going through uh, the entire adventure here. Um, so far, so good. We you know just defeated Ezreal. Now we're on to Zed and then Nautilus, then Victor. Um, I haven't played against Nautilus or Victor yet. I hear Nautilus is the hardest of all of them. But first, we got Zed. We're going to be traveling back over to Ionia for Zed in a second. So our um, reputation so far is only at uh, level 8. Uh, I don't have the ability to play a rare uh, relic item yet. We still just only have the common. Uh, I think we're going to just go ahead and keep the spell shield. Our two options are this spell shield or regeneration. Uh, I think we'll just go ahead and keep spell shield. And uh, that's kind of what we have. We're going to... We have this new starting power though. We didn't have this one before. So Every time any ally that we summon, we get to grant it plus one plus zero for each six plus cost spell in our hand. So keeping six plus cost spells in the opener now is even more valuable. So let's continue on our adventure. We'll go ahead and fight Zed. So Zed says, embrace the shadows. All of the foe's attacking units have plus one plus zero. Okay, so anything they attack with, plus one plus zero. That's how it is. Ooh. Looks like we're going to have a long adventure here. We got Fiora as our halfway champion, our little mid boss. We had an epic. Epic power. Okay, so Nautilus is the hardest out of all of them. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've heard Nautilus is really hard. Okay, so we have three rares to choose from. When you summon an ally, grant it a random keyword. I love that one. Welcome gifts is one of my very favorite powers. Like I, keywords are awesome. Like you always have the opportunity to maybe hit life steal, which is really important when you're trying to get like that S skill rating. Um, that's a really good one. Um, stabilize when you summon a champion, summon a femoral copy of it. Not bad. Not bad with Jace either. With Jace, with that, if we wait till we have ten mana. And we play a leveled up Jace, we get an ephemeral copy of it, and then we can also play like a, the Acceleration Gate, Acceler whatever the name of that card is, you know, uh, same round, then we get like triple that because we'd have two Jaces. That's not bad. But that's like whenever we've already kind of stabilized is whenever that happens. Just our allies just always have plus one plus zero for everybody. That's actually pretty good too. But I think I'd rather have a random keyword than plus one plus zero. So let's go and take the keyword. All right, anyway, Shadow Assassin, round start, create a return, and round end, recall their weakest ally. Gotcha. Return is the one that puts them back into play. One mana, burst speed, put something into play. Okay. Keep a Forge Chief, keep keeping Eager Apprentice. I'll go ahead and send the Mystic Shot back. Again, that card, you always mulligan 100% of the time. Yay, Shock Blast. Right, so, because I, I wanted to try to find a 6-cost spell for our power of granting things, plus 1, plus 0. So that's why I sent the Mystic Shot back. So we got two of those now. Elusive. Oh, right, because he gets the random keyword. <laughs> right. Herman, ten months now. Thank, you. thank you so much, Herman. Herman says, uh, "Thanks for the great content, especially the lab runs." I'm really glad to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that you are enjoying all the lab runs and everything, because they are definitely my favorite thing to play. Ooh, nice little five-three quick attack. Okay. Man, they are playing a lot of cards. It's just... <laughs> if you want to see, like, cards move through game zones, like, this is the matchup for you. <laughs> this is the deck for you. Like, all their cards are just doing random things. Um, I guess I play Jace. I, I kind of want to play Shock Blast. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna display the shock blast. But yeah, they get to put this Shadow Assassin back in. Unfortunately, like that's a burst speed effect. If that was slow speed out or you know fast speed, I would have just like passed, let them do that first before attacking, but 
without being a burst speed effect. They're going to be able to do that. Alright. So we'll get the Shadow Assassin out of here for good. So they don't get to just return it back to their hand. I would have rather spent one mana on it. Um, do a quick attack. Regen. Hey, remember when I was choosing between Spell Shield or Regen? Looks like we get both. We owe this land our lives. Hextech engaged. Alright, one damage. Now it can't block either one. I mean, it can, but it's not profitably. Yeah, free tough. Like, yeah. The Nautilus one, everybody gets free tough. That does sound insane. I don't even know what that's going to be like, but that does sound insane. Wow. That's a lot of damage there from that Shadow Assassin. No, it makes no sense to target the Shadow Assassin, because it'll go back to their hand. Alright, so this is the, just, just the very first battle. We've gone from 30 life down to 18. And this has just been the very first battle. Alright, so Acceleration Gate will give two keywords, because they both already have Quick Attack. And just open attack wouldn't have been that great because, yeah, they just put the blocker in, block the 8, and I only do 5. So let's, let's get some keywords. Alright, scout. No life steal. Unfortunately, impact for that other one. So I guess that challenges. That's kind of what happens. Alright, they're down to 1. And we got Mystic Shot. Yeah, I think Nautilus is just real grindy. You need a certain level to pass Nautilus. That makes sense. Because you do, you know, you play all the other champs. Or, all, yeah, you play all the other champs and keep leveling up and keep getting more, like, better powers. You know, figure out, like, the best power to equip and then, yeah, get your reputation, mark, everything like that. All right, this is an easy one. Again, just like last time, it's like, here's a sweet champion and then, like, two spare spells that I wouldn't want to put in the deck whatsoever. So I guess we'll just take the Sweet Champion. Heimer is great in a Jace deck. We'll take that. Okay, what kind of reinforcements we got? Heimer? I mean... I ain't scared of taking more Heimers. Because I like having more Thermo Beams and Flash of Brilliance. Like, those are really good for our Jace deck. So yeah, we'll just take that. Alright, let's kind of look at like what's going on here. So it looks like... This is like a mini boss battle, and this is a mini boss battle. So we can go towards a mini boss battle either way. Remember how we talked about how like those mini boss battles, you get a power right afterwards. So we can go kind of towards towards them either way. This one has round start, create a fleeting death mark in all players' hands. It's whatever. Uh, round end if one of their elite allies die, grant its weakest ally plus one plus one. That is really not much of a power either. So we can kind of go either way. Let's see what we got here. This is going to be an inspiring mentor and this is going to be a champion item. Man, I really like champion items. So I'll go towards the champion item, I think. This way you get... Hmm. Maybe we could, maybe we should go this way because you get more stuff. Because you do this battle, then this battle. Or like one, two, three, four things before you hit like this node. Where if you go this way, you're only doing one, two, and then you're at this node. So you get a lot more stuff if we go this way. So actually, you know what? Let's go this way. So we can get more stuff and have a better deck. But I am passing on a champion item, so maybe I'm messing up. Heimer Jace. Sticking in P and Z. Wait, what is it again? Oh yeah. I don't remember. Alright, we'll just actually keep all of it. Let's keep removal. Because if, like, everybody's making, like, they're they're wanting it to be where you make all these death marks. 
So therefore, they're trying to um, say that they are going to be playing ephemeral allies, and so therefore we're going to want to kill those ephemeral allies. So I'm just going to keep removal spells. Lifesteal! Man, Golden Crush Bot, Forge Chief. <laughs> if we drew, pretty bad. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. Old masks let young eyes see clearly. I learned that in class. Heimer! Yes. Um yeah. Does death follow me? Or should you play it? Go the other way. Oh right, they get the plus one plus one. Sure, boss. Keep it up. All right, gonna wait till after Heimer before playing spells, so we can get turrets. Answers. I have <laughs> Scout Heimer. I don't know about Scoutheimer. Oh, this doesn't... Wait! Oh, this isn't gonna work, no! Mm, Alright, shouldn't have attacked. So I was thinking that... Okay, so obviously they wanted to do this, and then Grant Ephemeral, but then I was gonna just, you know, Grant Ephemeral right back. But this doesn't work, because now, like, you know, once this resolves, like, the Heimer dies because it's in combat, so I really should not have put my unit in combat. Okay, I don't have I don't have the opportunity to death mark back because I did that. So that was a pretty big mistake. Bad mistake by me. All right, down to thirteen. All right, that's the first one for Jace. So all these turrets get an additional power. No, they used the Donheimer. I was hoping they wouldn't. Got spell shield. Um. All right, so we're mystic shotting that, and then block, block. I don't know why they didn't just play another Evershade Stalker, but I'm happy they didn't. Wow, what a draw! I guess I have to pass. So otherwise the death mark. Okay, so I was just definitely assuming they were gonna play death mark. I mean I guess I could have no, because I can't really attack. That's a tough spot to be. Let's get to work. <laughs> Alright, we're good now though. 
We drew well, getting that Heimer. And now, that thing, that was a good draw. Huh. Can't even make these blocks. Guess we have to take three. Which I should be blocking with the fearsome here instead of the spell shield, but um, so I have to do this so that they're so then they have something here so that I you know I get to do that again. Because otherwise, if I make that block, then their their unit's dead. Okay, double acceleration gate. Replicating the power spike. Let's find some lifesteal. We already know that Heimer has lifesteal already. Okay, we got another lifestealer. weird. Wait, if I just do this... Yeah, they'll just take the 17. Okay, yeah, we're good. We should be able to heal 17, right? Okay. Yeah. Alright, back to 24. Very good. All right, now assembly line can heal our nexus. That seems really, really important, as we have seen um, healing our nexus. Uh, you know, it, you only have the one nexus total, so I think that's really important. I think that's what we're going to choose. I don't really care about the gruff grenadier. Obviously, we don't have bandle card, so that that one doesn't matter. Repost can invoke. Like that's pretty cool, but eh. This will affect the two copies we put in and all the other copies of assembly line. That's just a really nice one, so we're going to be taking that. Three reroll tokens for 80 gold. I will take three reroll tokens for 80 gold. I always like buying reroll tokens. So now we have this Silent Shadow Seer. Okay, this is like the same fight that we had in the last one. We just had this Silent Shadow Seer fight. Now we got it again. Oh, we could have played. Oh, Heimer had Augment. I missed that. The Heimer had Augment, so I could have played the turrets. And. Yeah, I could have. Okay, crush bot out of here. You out of here. We'll keep the other two, because we'll curve Forge Chief into Eager Apprentice. Into other stuff. Hopefully some six cost spells. I have unfinished business. Shadow take you. Assembly line? Okay. Get some elusive there. I think can't block, right? Oh, it can block? Hmm. Used to Shark Chariot, I suppose. So I wish I didn't attack with the Eager Apprentice and held that back to block this one. Oh well. We will find some life steal somewhere. Okay. Assembly lines of card. Nothing beats protesting. A shadow cuts through the light. Yeah, that thing's pretty big. That thing's pretty big. Take 
Man, this is... <laughs> it's kind of a problem. Why do we keep drawing these Golden Crush bots? Alright, so we know we're going to sacrifice three blockers on these seven successes. I guess... I don't know. I'm just going to play another one of these. I don't really want to play a Thermogenic Beam, so I guess we just take six. Oh no, it's eight. It's even worse. Like, five mana Thermogenic Beam is just pretty rough. We really need it to be, you know, six mana Thermogenic Beam. Well, I will play that. And I guess it's going to be four mana Thermo Beam now. Man, our next round is going to be real bad. Okay, Flash of Brilliance. That could be something. What we get? Hextech Transmogulator? I can work with that. I can work with that. Um, yeah. Transform you into... Yeah. We'll spell shield. That's a big Jace. So we're going to have 9 mana next round. So we do have enough to play the Golden Crush bot first. And then Acceleration Gate. So just get another thing out here. That gets those key two keywords and everything. Any lifesteal? Lifesteal? Nope. We got Overwhelm Augment there with the Jace. So might as well play those. Let's get Alright, and that should finish it up. So we're still at 14. Not the best total, Nexus total, but we should be getting a power. As far as I know. Now that's what I call progress. Should be getting power. These are all pretty bad. I really don't want any of these. I guess we have five. Okay, we have five rerolls because like Arsenal's too expensive. We're not a landmark deck anyway. Like stress testing is the only like PNZ one, but I don't. I, we just don't need stress testing. So let's go and reroll. Um, I like these a lot better. So Rummage will draw two cards plus draw a champion. Like that's kind of nice. Honestly, I kind of really like that. But weighted judgment. You know, healing the Nexus again, like, that's awesome. Love that, and it can do a lot of damage to stuff. Um, Yor Yordles and Arms sounds awesome with Heimer, but we're not going to be casting four different regions, probably. So, I think it's one of these two. The thing I like about Rummage is you get to get rid of, like, you know, we do have some of those underpowered cards, and we have some really powerful cards um, in this game mode, and the Rummage can get rid of some of our Golden Crush bots and that kind of stuff, and go find our really powerful cards. So that's what I really like about Rummage. Um, plus, Rummage will also just kind of keep my deck mono PNZ. And I think that's a benefit, I think. It kind of keeps your deck a little streamlined. Because I think that... I could be wrong here, but then whenever you get other rewards, if it's like all PNZ, you get more PNZ. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that was just like the old Bible, old Bible Legends was like that. 
Um, but this weight of judgment's kind of calling my name also. I want to take the rummage. Yeah, I want to get rid of Golden Crush bots. But man, I, I'll feel bad if I you know don't get to heal my Nexus. All right, let's get a spells chest. So note there was not a was not a power after that boss fight. Heroes charge when cast. Shuffle two copies into the deck. No, I don't want any more of those. Sump fumes that just starts in our hand. That's not too bad. Iceborne legacy with minus two cost. Eh. So I guess the sump fumes is probably the best one. Is that worth a reroll or do we just take it? We should, I think we probably just take it. We we'll start the game with the sump fumes in hand. That's probably pretty good. All right, back over to that Fey Blade Twirler. Looks like you got an epic there. We'll have this stun the player's weakest unit. Round start, no big deal. Did we draw like both Golden Crush bots every game? <laughs> so yeah, it'll be nice to be able to discard them. So we always have them. Well, this is a good opener. Nice, we have the assembly line that we can play round three. Heal our Nexus 6. Hooday! 59 months! Thank you, Hooday. Been here since the beginning. I always appreciate that. Yeah, well, we, we can take three. Oh, I always forget about that power. It's just taking five. Maybe I shouldn't be taking five. It would be nice to play that Forger tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so the, yeah, they had that had that border, but didn't have the power afterwards. Want to see these moves up close? So I guess it doesn't always have that. Hard to know what actually happens. All right, we're going to need to try to stay alive. Down to twelve. Yuck. Yuck, I say. And they're just going to pass with all that mana? I guess I'm just going to pass also. I only had two mana. Okay. Send those two back. Wait. Let me just sump fumes this. No homecoming for you. Nothing beats field testing. Regen. Eight mana. So still have six mana. Getting rid of these. Rummage, draw three. Yeah, Huda, yep, everything's going well. Hope you're doing good. So we have two things stunned right now. Ooh, I had lifesteal. Now we talking. Wrong one. We have lots of 6 plus cost spells in our deck, so that's why these have so much power. Remember that we have that ability. Um, I guess I'm going to play it over the 7-1 just because it's stunned. It's Fury. It's a lot of damage. Okay. Get back up to 21. Now we're back up to a very respectable... Life total there at 21. Mm. I'm not sure, like, just how important Whimsy is. So, normal, like, regular generic 
mid-range units are just not valuable at all in, in this kind of game mode. So I don't want those whatsoever. So Whimsy, you know, can transform a follower, uh, or like, you know, silence it basically. You know, silence it and, and turn it into a 1-1 one, one for the round. That could be pretty good. I don't know, you know, like playing against Zed. We have Fiora as our other champion. I'm not sure. I think I'll take it. I think it's okay enough that we don't need to use a reroll. Alright, so we can either go to the Monastery or this Epic Card Shop. I think we go to the Epic Card Shop. That sounds like a good place to go. Every spell grows the Solari Sunhawk. Plus one, plus one. That's good. I think that's the only one that I like, because again, just regular mid-range units just aren't very valuable in, in general, so I don't really like any of these. Except for the Solari Sunhawk. I think that one could be really nice. I think that could be like a good thing against like a Zed also, just like a stun, and then it can grow really big. I think I'll take a Solari Sunhawk. And so I think you only get one copy, and then I'll purchase a second one. I don't think I want three of them. Do I? I basically always buy the reroll token, but we already own four. So maybe not. Mm, three of these Sunhawks. Do have the rummage. Maybe I'll just take two. Okay, head to the healer. We can cut. Not a good card. I mean, these are like decent cards, so we don't need to cut these. So we'll just heal. And time to fight Fiora. When one of the foe's allies challenges an enemy, give the ally tough this round. So any of their things that challenge have tough. Okay, good to know. We'll send back the sun fumes, because remember that just starts in our hand anyway. And we'll just keep the others. The Eager Apprentice adds mana. The Forge Tomorrow does its thing. Yes, assembly line. Heal on our Nexus 6. New recruit reporting in. So their Fiora's have Phage, so they're already 5 4s to begin with. question is whether I want to play this Forge of Tomorrow first or not, or if I should just slam assembly line. I think we go Forge of Tomorrow. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. I am Oh! What? Okay. So I guess because they just have more Fiora's in hand. Probably right, because you know, it's a Fiora deck. I'm sure they have more in hand. Four three tough, four three fury. I'm actually here. Very kind of you to grace us with your presence, my lady. Axel, shut up. Hmm. Need clearance, pal. All right, so I'll just trade the board away, and we get a mana. We each have four cards in hand, but we get a mana. One of those rummages would be real nice. Getting rid of these two. Alright, I feel great about this whimsy. Yeah, I feel great about this whimsy. Assembly line time. Let's get to That's gonna be second spell. Life steal. Break 
I don't want my lifesteal unit taking any damage. Got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Great. We're running into heat issues. What you got? Shock blast. In the name of our land. No, not my lifesteal. No. I guess we're still at 30 anyway. Hard to be above 30. Alright, so I'm just going to go and play the Thermogenic Beam right now because I'm going to be playing Acceleration Gate next round and then attacking right afterwards. Perfect, because then we drew, even drew a Thermo Beam that's so, like, really rewarded for doing that. Gate is a go. Let's get started. Okay, so still at 30. GG's. Today down as a success. Okay, so now Shock Blast can heal our Nexus also. I think we'll take that. So now both Shock Blast and Acceleration or uh, Assembly Lines, they both heal our Nexus. We get another two copies of Shock Blast. Good, good, good. We are looking really good in this run with all this Nexus healing. Now we get our secondary power. Um, we don't really want our spells to cost one less, and I don't really care about either of these common ones. So we got all these rerolls for a reason. When we summon a one cost unit, granted plus two plus two, that's usually a great power. Um, but we, not really for us though. Okay, I guess we're gonna reroll again. When you summon an ally, granted a random keyword. Let's go. Okay, so we already have welcome gifts that we started with. Now we're gonna have a second welcome gift. So all of our allies will have two random powers. Let's go. All right, this way is the healer, but we're already at 30 and we have a lot of Nexus healing. So I don't wanna go towards the healer. I wanna go the other way. So we're gonna go this way. Um, once they play a six plus cost spells, then their spells cost two less. That's not, that's not really very scary at all. So let's definitely go that way. Don't need to go towards the healer now. Man, I'm I'm feeling really good about our run. I, You know, we got Heimer, we got Jace. We got multiple random keywords for everybody. Send those back. Don't you love how you send two cards back and those are immediately the, like your first two cards that you draw? Are those ones? Alright, we'll just trade. Get that mana back. And pass. I guess we knew we were getting the Sump Fumes back. A 3-4? I can't Shock Blast and kill a 3-4. Hey, look at that. It just makes Assembly Line. Which has the healer nexus. We are at 30, so I guess that being at 30, it's not as valuable. Glory unrelenting. Okay. We'll block with the Overwhelm Elusive. Maybe we should just play the Crush Bot when I had the two six drops. I fight for a brighter tomorrow. I want to keep the scout. Uh, I guess the scout doesn't matter. No, let's keep that keep that thing alive because I want them to have the three threes for me to shoot with the shock blast anyway. Magic has no place here. Oh, five mana. I'm sorry, Heimer. Always want to play Heimer before spells, but I'm sorry, Heimer. And our deck's pretty good. Yeah, I guess that's alright. I guess that's alright. 
Another assembly line. Alright, I'm gonna get Heimer in play first. Whoa, wait a minute. Double redouble valor? Oh, right, that heals it anyway. But yeah, so it turns into a 2020? And it has scout? That purify was useless. That purify was still useless. Twenty one eighteen. Alright, Jace has regen. Wow. Do you have a whimsy? All right, I guess I wait till next round for acceleration gate. Dude, I this is crazy. I haven't seen this before. The old eighty eighty. I'm just gonna go back to a one one, but that was still pretty crazy. It was an 80-80 for a minute. Magic has no place here. Oh, you had Scout? I guess I could have just attacked with you first. Control the mage. To control their magic. Interesting use of tech. Bzz, bzz. Testing. History will judge you. And now we'll have Acceleration Gate next round. I guess we are already at 4-3. Anyway, we are already at 30. We can't go any higher than 30. Okay, so we could easily open attack, but come on. We're not here to open attack. <laughs> we're here to cast accelerate double acceleration gate. That's what we're here to do with Jace, that's for sure. Clear the range. So many keywords. <laughs> so everything's just gonna have four keywords. One of them being quick attack, and then the rest. And of course Jace has even more. Is there any lifesteal? Yeah, you. Okay, so. Who has Challenger? You? Okay, our deck's looking really good. <laughs> Double welcome gifts. It is truly remarkable. And we had Lux as a pairing for Jace last game, and now Heimer as a pairing for Jace this game. Those are like two great champions to go along with Jace. Whoa, Forge of Tomorrow can cost one? I'm in there for that. Obviously, I don't care about the Crush Bot. Um, Eager Apprentice, just joining your hand immediately. Also not bad, because that's like the play that I want to do on round two all the time. But I think I, one cost Forge of Tomorrow? It does still kind of mess up, you know, playing a six-cost spell on... Oh, let's let's do the Eager Apprentice, because that does kind of mess up the do the six-cost spell on round three. So we'll, we'll just start the game with Eager Apprentice. That's good. That's, like, our best round two anyway. New power. Uh, round start. Nope. 
Ram, no. Alright, reroll. Looks like we're doing one more reroll, because I don't like any of these. Okay, we got a rare. Get the summon an exact ephemeral copy of the champions. Alright, I guess that's what we got, because I don't I don't want either of these, so. Emperor's dies. Would be kind of cool with getting multiple um, multiple keywords on every sand soldier. Alright, so we can just buy regular Mystic Shots, but I don't want that. Hidden Pathways, when cast, grant the top ally in your deck power and health equal to my cost. That could be not bad. Bruiser can make even more keywords, but it's just like a regular Bruiser. Again, you don't really want just like regular units. Um, Mushroom Cloud draws a card. Ugh, these are all kind of meh. I think the pa Hidden Pathways is like the only realistic thing, honestly, but I don't I don't love it either. So maybe I'll re-roll here. We have a Quick Attack Loping Telescope. I think I'll take some Quick Attack Loping Telescopes. I don't know, is that even that good? I probably shouldn't have used... This is just a common card shop. I shouldn't have used my reroll here. That, that was a bad use of a reroll at a common card shop. I just have all these coins to spend. But doesn't... This is the only one that's worth... All the, the other five are not any I'm interested in. This is the only one that's like a maybe. Um, so it's going to have quick attack and then two other keywords also. Nah. All right, create an exact fleeting copy of the least expensive unit in a player's hand. Or if the foe's weakest ally survive damage, then transform it into the next strongest Cythria. That sounds like that can get kind of crazy and out of hand. So I'm going to go this way. I'm kind of looking at these. This is, a, again, a common card shop. We just saw the common card shops aren't very valuable. Um, you know, we'd rather go to the rare item. I guess that's just an item shop, but probably want to go to one of these two. And champion items are always cool. So we're coming up on Zed. We're almost there. It's probably the healer right before the Zed. So round start. Create a fleeting copy of the least expensive unit in the hand. I should get out of here. Uh, and then you can go, you can go. Well, that's pretty good. Let's get to work. So we can just chill with this Forge Chief right here and then just always keep creating more Forge Chiefs. Let's go, people. Well, that sounds pretty good. And the first one has Augment, so it's going to grow in power. Regen Spell Shield. All right, assembly line. Challenger impact, overwhelm spell shield. You'll soon understand my methods. Heimer. My training is unconventional. I forgot the Solari Sunhawk had the grant plus one plus one for each spell. Honestly, kind of forgot about that. Bring me tea to gain the strength of rivers. Suppose you want us working, eh? Well, that is what I pay you for. Suppose you want us working, eh? Well, All right, sorry, Forge Chief. For. I want to do some blocking. I don't want to take a lot of damage. Hmm. 
just get like infi inspiring mentors. Dude, this is awesome. Okay, so I didn't know it was going to work like this. But, alright, so, because we have the power to put an exact copy of one into play. So, the Heimer comes in and it gets all the keywords that this one does. But then it also gets that Nexus ability again, and it gets keywords again. Man, that's pretty awesome. A scout? I mean, Scout doesn't really matter. Let's have you pull that over there. That's pretty awesome. Alright, still at 30. All this all this lifesteal because of all these welcome gifts. Looks like we're about to go to the boss. Ooh. I want to take the giant belt on Heimer, right? Like, I want another copy of Heimer in the deck, but this Rummage and Thermogenic Beam are both awesome. Like, the Rummage already draws a champion. Now it can predict also. Or Thermo can just manifest a card. Because, like, you know, Rummage will get rid of all, like, these useless cards that aren't as good and, and help find, like, the champions and the expensive spells. Uh, like, these are all awesome. How are we... How do we choose? Let's go ahead and... No, because just manifesting a regular generic card actually isn't really that good, because those are like cards that I want to discard anyway. So it's actually between these two. And timer is probably big enough that doesn't need a belt. So I'm going to take the rummage, where we get to draw three and predict. And champion item. Minus one cost. I always like minus one cost. Getting more keywords like I can give ch I can give Jace challenger and then also give it quick attack and then it has spell shield and then it gets two other keywords also I kind of want to just do that all right Jace you're gonna have challenger now too so Jace will always have challenger quick attack plus two other ones um I wish I had a reroll this I should have saved that reroll from before this would have been good to use a, a reroll on this I don't know how valuable Whimsy is. I think I like the Forge Chief. Yeah, I like the Forge Chief. I just don't know how valuable Whimsy is in this matchup. I, I haven't played against Zed enough to know if Whimsy is really valuable or not. I'll just leave it in the deck. Okay, round end. If the player's Nexus took any damage this round, then the foe's strongest ally will strike it. Okay, so if we take any Nexus damage, then at the end of the round, they strike the Nexus again. And it's the strongest ally that will strike. Alright, that one's obviously gone. I guess we send Flash of Burlings back also looking for... Or I guess we, we know we're going to get the 2-drop, right? Because we always start with the 2-drop. I should have probably just kept the Flash of Burlings. The Master of Shadows. Dang, they aggro. Three, six, and then another two. That's rude. Happy to do whatever's needed. They'll never see me coming. Excuse me. Looking for the. I guess might as well attack. It's just gonna block anyway. Might as well attack and get the four damage in. Oh, right, right, right. Plunder costs three less. Uh, do I want to just do this? But then it messes up my next round. That's fine. Let's let's do it. We're we'll be good. We let's get some blockers in here. Yeah. All right. So healer nexus for three. Oh, and that was a scout attack. So we get to attack twice again. <laughs> that actually worked out pretty good. <laughs> The two one head scout. No. Down from the tree. 
All right, we're about to play Jace. And our Jace is going to be crazy. Choose quick attack, Sarah has challenger. This is kind of... Quick attack, challenger, spell shield. We knew it was going to have those two, so then it gets two other random keywords. All right, lifesteal and fearsome. And then this one... <laughs> it gets all of those plus other keywords. So no scout, though. <laughs> oh, that's pretty awesome. I am the blade in the darkness. Yeah. Yeah, that's a real thing. Um. Yeah, that's a real thing. Would have loved this stun. Wait. Oh, that's the predict. I don't actually draw that card. Oh no. We're okay. My Jace has life steal. We we good. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I guess we just play new Jace next round. Nah. Could have blocked there and then played New Jays. Oh, I forgot about that strike. You're at zero out of two still. <sighs> hmm. Even if named out of court. And eminently solvable, Hammer. Pretty big units. Scout, scout. Y'all don't have scout, do you? No. Dang. So we ended at 5. Did not end at 30. But still, take a win. So still, still take a win. Getting them rewards. All right, get that reputation so we can fight Nautilus. Three hundred and twenty reputation. Common power when I'm summoned to deal one to all enemies. That's a pretty sweet power. Is that better than Spell Shield? It's a good chance it is. Oh, I didn't even get a badge. I ended at five. No badge. That's too bad. Okay. Alright. Alright, so what did we get? So with our reputation, now we're going to have a 10% chance to hit rare powers. That's awesome, right? Rare powers are really good. Much better than the common powers. And the powers are like like whenever you choose like the, the three starting things. Um, begin every adventure with an extra 50 gold. Cool. Take that. And there we go. And we have not been able to upgrade our relic slot to rare quite yet. Not yet. Um, I don't. I kind of think maybe deal one to all enemies. Oh, I, I guess if we're we're about to face. Never mind. We're about to face Nautilus, and Nautilus. All the things have tough. So that ravenous Hydra power doesn't do anything there. All right. So there we go. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely don't want that against the Scar Grounds and stuff. All right. So another win for Jace. So far, so good. We're, we're, you know, plugging along, but we're about to face the most difficult of all of them with Nautilus. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, 
hit that like button, leave those comments. Um, you know, let me know, like, what kind of, uh, cha you know, which of the champions do you really like playing? Anything like that. Hopefully, all of these uh, videos are just kind of helping you learn about Path of Champions. If you're struggling with it at all, hopefully you're picking up on different things that, you know, that we're talking about during these videos and it can help you get you get through them because they are lots of fun to play. But that's going to be it for Jace fighting the Zed Adventure. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you for the next video.